thing I want to show you guys is this red lighted area right here. So a few years ago, the core guys actually trained to stand right here. We top up downstairs until we started getting photos of a seven foot shadow man standing right behind the core guy. You can also be seen just pacing back and forth and even going through the wall over here. And like I said, we have cameras in almost every single room of the house. We actually have one down here, and we used to have one down here. And we often capture him pacing back and forth and even moving those cameras around. Hmm. Now, if you guys are a tour guide in this place, and you guys do the last tour of the evening, that means you have to come back to this house completely alone around midnight. You actually have to blow all these oil lamps, turn off all the lights, and actually lock up the place. So imagine you guys are blowing out that last oil lamp when all of a sudden you're approached by a seven-foot shadow man. That's the reality of many tour guides at this place. So I'm going to you guys over to our safe room. You guys follow me over to the safe room. And to follow me over here. and pokes. They hear icy whispers in their ears. And this, the place will lose their earrings at. We actually had a tour guide one night who was actually standing about right here. And she was talking to a group of 20 people. When all of a sudden, so her hair being played with and her earrings being played with. Um, she put it on because she also went and kept talking. When all of a sudden, in the middle of her tour, her hair was pushed back. Her earrings came out and in front of her actually from across the room in front of her entire tour. All 20 of them went running and screaming out of the house, and she also quit on the spot. We have a very high turnover rate for tour guides in such a place. 